Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, where you can see great games played badly. I'm John and this is Sable. Now I've just been pootling around looking for things. Uh, that's one of the wrecks that we've already explored. Um, you can see there's a, a blue light on it. Over there is a wreck that presumably we haven't explored. There's also something very interesting in the distance there. And there's a whole load of bones here. So, I think we should go and explore. Let's go back to the uh, uh, the beetle bike. Look at it, twitching away there. Right. Let's go and see what we can find. It's fine. Okay, a lot of... Uh, a lot of things came here to die. I'm not sure, oops, not sure what they are, whether they're supposed to be aquatic creatures, like whales or something like that, maybe. They're certainly quite big, and obviously in the, in the half-light here, they're not very well defined. Certainly quite spooky. Um, but let's head over this way, because I think this is where the uh, the ship is. I can't see anything else. I can't see any... Um, can't see any worms or anything, even. But here's the ship. What's that? The Brunswick or something? Bruns? That looks like Brunswick, doesn't it? The something of Brunswick. Oops, just crash into everything as we go. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that makes sense. Ooh, and there's, ooh, whatever, that, that looks like a worm or something, some kind of mechanical worm. Okay, so it looks like we can get in through the back here. Okay, it's another puzzle. Center of Brunswick, there you go, that's what it was. Okay, so I'm going to need to get up onto here, presumably, uh, and then jump across onto there, Ooh. and move around, Ooh. and jump onto there. There we go, look at that. I mean, not exactly, oh, I've left some scrap metal over there. I'll get it later. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Right, what have we got? What was that? What have we got here? A spinny thing. A slidey thing, perhaps. A couple of power... Oh, lots of power points. Um, we have platforms up there. Okay, so does, where does that go? Hmm, this looks confusing. Oh, there's some scrap metal there, so I'll pick that up. Okay, so that powers that. Okay, so do I have to... I've turned invisible. Oh, no, there I am. Move all that around there to get across onto... Hmm. Okay, let's see what we can do. Right, I think I figured out part of it. I think. Um, so obviously I need to get up onto that walkway there. Um, I know I think I can get across to this. So that's what I'll do first. I've set it up so I should be able to jump across and up. I don't know why I tripped over the stairs there. So. Because as far as I can see, there's only one power cell. Uh, I could be completely missing one, but I can only see one power cell, so there's only one thing I can keep moving at a time. So this gets me across here. Which gets me onto here, if I get there in time. Yeah. Now this doesn't go all the way across, it stops here, but... I can get onto there. 
now. That doesn't really help me. However, if I now take that out of there and put it back into here, what I should be able to do, in theory, is drop down onto here, climb across here and wait for this to come around, and then use that to get up to this level. There we go. And we have found another one of the AIs. So let's see what you've got to say. I say hello to Saren. Sable, your security clearance has been updated. Please proceed to the whale to authenticate. You have unread messages, Sable. Okay, what have we got? Here are your un unread messages. Recording three. Come on, Singh, you know what we're up against. We purge our engines out here, we've got nothing for the terraformers. We need to land now. Cram it, Deacon. Wow. Look, every day the radiation's getting worse. I can't keep selling this BS to the crew. And no, I'm not landing on that planet either. We're not landing anywhere until we know more about these atmospheric anomalies. There may be life zones on the surface, but that doesn't mean they're hospitable. But we do need this stuff off the ship, Deacon. Mission be damned. That planet is the whole reason we're here. If we don't get those terraformers up and functional, then we came out here for nothing. How's that going to look? If we go back without completing our objective, you can forget a promotion. You'll be sent to some outworld rock to monitor a relay station, Captain. There's a bit of tense silence after the emphasis on Captain, and I feel as though I'm listening to something I shouldn't. The one called Singh speaks again. Okay, just... Once we get within range of the planet, we give Sarin two more days to figure out what's causing the disturbance. I don't want to fly through it if we don't know what it is, but we may not have a choice. Attaboy, Singh. I knew you'd make the right call. Now come on, sit down and have a drink with me. Get the hell out of my room, Deacon. There is some silence, some shuffling, and a faint hiss of air. Then it's just the lonely voice of the captain again. I wonder how long ago all this was. Saren, override privacy protocol on finance officer Deacon. I want you to keep an eye on him. Yes, Captain. And then nothing. No one read messages. Okay, I say farewell to Saren. Right, so that's another one, and it says we should go to the whale to authenticate. Um, and I think the whale is one of the ones we found um, when I was having a bad um, playthrough. Okay, some more scrap. Okay, so, out we go. Oh, there's more scrap down there. Whee! Okay, I will get back to my bike. Well, I'm back at my bike, uh, and it said we have to go to the whale to authenticate our security clearance. Um, but I do want to check out whatever that is, because it looks really quite interesting. So let's ho head over to this. So this is the problem I have with pretty much any open world game. Is that I'll see something interesting and completely ignore the quest. Okay, what have we got around here? Not a lot. Certainly not a lot that I can see, because there's smoke coming out the back of my bike. Big mounds of stuff. Some very um, interesting kind of wind carved, maybe. Um, oh, yeah, the worm. Hmm. I mean, it's very interesting, and there clearly seems to be something up there, but how would I get up there? Would it be bit by bit? That would take forever. 
use those things like a, a ladder. Okay, well, maybe. I don't know if we'll be able to do that. Let me give it a try, and I'll uh, I'll see how far I can get without plummeting. And then I'll come back. We made it to the very top. And there's a worm, so we'll grab the chum egg. Thank you very much. And looking around from up here, there's definitely something very interesting on the horizon there as well. What looks like some kind of... Uh, observatory, maybe, or temple. Uh, there's another one of those um, temple puzzle things over there. There's a cartographer over there. And that looks about all I can see at the moment. Uh, some kind of weird oasis thing there, obviously. But um, There was a chest on the way up, I found. But, if we have a look around here, he says, trying to get back to the front of the worm without falling off. If we look here, there's definitely something inside here, so I'm going to do my best to jump off and drift back in. Like that. Ooh. I pick up the worn and weathered pages left in the small encampment. Not something I expected to find up here, and far too tempting to ignore. Here I am. You told me to look to Pyrousta when I had lost it all, and here I am with nothing and no one, alone at the end of all my failures. I will sit and think for a while. Perhaps something will come to me. Otherwise, I look to fall. Anna, I know you won't want to hear me, but I have to tell you. Pyrousta spoke to me. In a voice like rolling thunder and late evening shivers, she shook my bones and told me there is more to this than I know, and that I must look inside the statue. I have no way inside, but I will find one. Where I am bidden to go by Pyrousta's whim, there will I walk in her great shadow. Okay. There's another chum egg here. Thank you very much, and I don't know if you can do anything to that. What is that? I don't know. But there has to be a way inside. Do you do anything? No. Hmm. So, presumably, there is some way of opening this up. Um, but I don't know what it is. And there, Other than this, there doesn't appear to be any kind of clue as to what might do it. I mean, it sits there and burbles when I stand in it, but apart from that, nothing seems to happen. Nope, I don't know. Okay. Maybe that's something I can come back to later. Geronimo! Oh, where's my bike? Uh, there's my bike. It's quite a long way up. Okay, where to now then? Let's have a look at our map. So we've got the worm, we've got the centre of Brunswick. See, that was the whale. So let's... Let's fast travel to the whale and see what we can do there. I did just have a horrible thought that we were going to leave Simon behind and just fast travel without him. Hmm. Okay, well, this is the whale. Um, it's quite big. I think that's fair to say. I probably actually want the bike to go inside here, don't I?
I mean, I just whistled, Mike. You're supposed to come when I whistle. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you going to do now? You're just going to wander off, are you? No. Okay. Good, good. Right. Let's have a look in the whale and see what we can see. Hmm. Lots of big stuff. So I'm not sure how it... Oh, ooh, tunnels and everything. Oh, the bike is not designed for this. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's leave the bike. Okay, this is very, very big. This is going to take a fair amount of exploring, I suspect. Can I climb this? No, I can't. Can I climb this? No, I can't. Am I stuck? Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, bit of lag there. Okay, so nothing around that end that I can see. That goes through to the next section. Yep. Wow. Okay. Oh, scrap metal. Okay, there's some more scrap metal up there. This, Wow, this place is, is very, very big. And there's a worm through there. That I can see. Along with uh, a climbing grid of some description. Wow, okay. Okay, I will have a quick explore. <laughs> a quick explore. Uh, I will have a, a look around and, and see if I can find anything that either looks like a puzzle or looks like the next stage of uh, the quest. Okay, inside the whale, and I have found a bit that looks to be some kind of puzzle. There's all sorts of climby things uh, moving around. Um, yeah, this it's, it's certainly interesting. There's um, there's a console that appears to feed power to that door there, but it's all the way over there, so I'll probably need my bike to be able to get there in time before it closes. Um, but let's have a look at this puzzle. This seems to be some kind of uh, vehicle hangar or sort of cargo area, maybe. Hmm, okay, so there's a shield there that stops me... What does it stop me getting to? Okay, it stops me getting up there. So I need to get onto that upper platform, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. I can't even see where I'm supposed to be going. That's the problem. <laughs> um... Okay. So yeah, the, the console is over there behind that pipe. Um, and it feeds all the way down to that uh, big gate at the end. This is such a big space, it just takes forever to get anywhere. Okay. Right. This doesn't really seem to help me being on this bit, but... Okay, can I get up over here? There looks like some artfully arranged boxes. Allows me up onto this bit. Yeah. Okay. So, from here I should be able to jump onto at least one of those platforms, in theory. Um, can't see anything down there. What's over here, then? Yeah, I'll be able to get onto that platform there. Oh, there's some scrap. Thank you very much. So, from there, where would I jump onto? Which one do I want to get onto from there? I don't know. So, I don't know where I'm supposed to go from there. <laughs> um... Okay, so presumably from that one, I jump onto that one. 
But from there, where do I go? That stops there. That stops there. So it's got to be the other end. That's Maybe I have to jump across each of those. No, surely not. Hmm. Let's have a look around here. What have we got the other side of this shield thing? Okay, maybe it's that bit I want to get onto then. That higher level. But there's a door right here, so we can have a look at that. But I'll grab this scrap metal first. What's in here? Ooh. Well, Saren's in here. Uh, there's some scrap metal over here. So I didn't actually really have to do a puzzle at this point. Whoa. That was a bit more of a jump than I was expecting. So I didn't have to do a puzzle at this point to reach Saren. But there's a whole bunch of stuff here behind. Ooh. That looks like a bike of some description. Or at least part of a bike. Right, let's talk to uh, Saren. Okay, so there's, that looks like a power diagram. We are missing power to, like, three sections. I encounter a strange luminous figure. It greets me before I even have a chance to be we've met before. Saren, new user found. Hello, please enter your new username. Okay, this is the same dialogue we had when we first met Saren. Is this a different Saren? Uh, I find myself whispering my own name. It suddenly feels odd in my mouth, like this is the first time I've said it aloud. Welcome, Sable. I've set up a new account for you. I asked the mysterious figure about themselves. I am this ship, simulated anthropomorphic registry and information nexus, but you can call me Saren. I ask Saren what they're doing there. I'm not entirely sure, Sable. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, ship's log. Thank you for your help recovering my data modules. I've updated your security clearance, granting first level access. Okay, so I've got access to whatever that is. I thank Saren profusely. I hope they understand. I say farewell to Saren. Okay, so we have gained access to something in here. Some kind of clothing? Whale ship trousers. So lightweight and form fitting that it doesn't feel much more than an extra layer of skin. Whatever the, it, it, whatever it is made of is unclear to me. Okay, can I take the top? There we go. Made from an unrecognizable material. Wearing it seems to keep me at a consistently comfortable temperature. Well, ship mask. The visor of this mask gives clarity and visibility. I'm not used to with other masks. The air tastes cleaner whilst they wear it. Okay. So. Let's have a look. Let's see what this looks like. Uh oh, I have lost my... I lost my cursor. Why have I lost my cursor? Okay, well, let's scroll through. Here we go. So that's the mask, which looks kind of silly on its own. In fact, the whole getup looks kind of silly, but we'll go with it since we've got it. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, do I have to talk to you again? I say hello to Saren, no unread messages. Okay, cool. Goodbye. Right, so we need to figure out some more puzzles so we can get greater access. Now all I have to do is find my way out of here. Oh, there's a worm. Hello, worm. Give me your egg. Thank you very much. We'll be able to go back to uh, 
the queen soon. Oh, more scrap metal. You were hiding, weren't you, you naughty bit of scrap metal. Okay, I am going to say that because I do not apparently yet have to do this particular puzzle, I'm not going to give it a lot of effort. Um, I will give this a go. Okay. Oh, no, 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 come on. Right, so I can jump to... Definitely jump to that one, but I don't know how much that will help. Um, it is slightly higher, so... Yeah, well... Hmm. Maybe... I'll be able to jump from this one. I don't want to get on top because it'll knock me off. So now I want to get on top. And I want to be able to jump across to that one on the way back. But maybe jumping across onto the top of there is what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. That's that's unfortunate. Don't do that. Get on that one. Get on that one. Oh, okay. Not an entire disaster. Just a just a minor one. Okay, and jump. Okay. Wait for it to come back. There we go. Get on top. And I want to jump across onto there, and then jump across onto there. And then climb up onto the top of that one. Okay. So, jump across onto here. Yep. That worked. Wait for this to come across. Jump onto there. Climb up. And jump. Excellent. Okay, we've made it onto this bit. I assume that's a good thing. Um, there's another door. Does this just lead us back into the uh, same chamber we were in before? I bet it does, doesn't it? Ooh. We have some kind of garden. This is nice. I'm not sure the the point of it, but it's nice. Okay. Right, let's go and have a look around. Oh, scrap metal. Just the job. You never know when you're going to run out of that. Okay. Let's see if there's anything around here. There's some. There appears to be something in the uh, branches of that, but I can't see what it is. Okay, so... Nothing else on that level. What have we got up here? More scrap metal. Um, not a lot that I can see. Oh, some more. Um, hello. Oh, there we are. Thank you. And another worm. Thank you very much. And some more scrap metal. But I can't see anything else in here. So 
So, let's head back out. And see what else there is on this level. So, I mean, it, it looks like everything has a purpose, even if I have no idea what that purpose might be. It's quite a clever bit of design. Okay, what do you do? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, okay, so you're in case I fall off. You keep going up and down here so I can get back. Is that is that your purpose? Kind of seems to be, doesn't it? Okay. Good to know. And we have a ladder here. There's my bike over there. This is a very long ladder. You think that some, you know, safety rails or something around this ladder would be a good idea. Okay, oh, it just jerked my camera up as if I was supposed to look at something. Okay, we have another ladder. There is a lot of verticality in this. Really, really going for the whole climbing thing. I'm not good with heights personally, but this isn't... Some games you just... Uh, I can't play because they make me cringe too much. But this isn't too bad. Okay, there's a big gap there for some reason. Uh, and there appears to be a locked door here, which is annoying. Come on, let me let me add it. Okay, is that that's blocked off and locked? Huh. Atomic core die. Ooh. Okay, so there's nothing here. Uh, oh no, there we go. But there is a way up here. So presumably that door is opened somewhere. I don't know. Um, I can't see anywhere else I can jump to from up here that would be worth jumping to. Um, yeah, so I think that will be it for the whale, for the moment. I, mean, I, I expect we'll be coming back, well, I know we'll be coming back at some point because I want to get that bike. But, I don't know, hmm. No, I can't, I can't see any way of opening that door or anything like that. So, let's just jump off. And I wonder, so if we activate that and then try and get there on my bike before the, uh, oh, it's not going to work. Look at this thing. Look at this. Um, it's still below, it's, still, it's closing, it's closing, it's closing. I'm not going to make it, no. Okay, so I need a faster bike to be able to make that. Or to be better at riding the bike and not bounce off of everything. But let's leave the whale. Okay, there we go. Right. And I think that will do for this episode. 
Um, there's still a few things around here that I'd quite like to uh, explore. So we'll stay here for now. Um, so please do join us again next time. Uh, I'm definitely sort of still enjoying it now. Uh, I'm, I'm, I am glad to report that I've definitely got the joy back after my one bad episode. Um, oh, that's the bridge over there, I think, in the distance. Okay, so we will leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, please do give us a like and a subscribe. Um, this, this game just isn't getting the love that I think it deserves still. Uh, but I'm going to keep hammering it on. Uh, because it is fun. Um, but until next time, please take care of yourselves. I've been John. This has been Sable. Stay safe and goodbye.